Welcome back to the Daily Dope on this fine day in 2018, one of my first uh, reports coming out this year, um, and, uh, you know, surprisingly enough, it's not about California, it's not always all about California, well, this uh finally coming down the pipes, I've been waiting for this to happen ever since Jeff Sessions took the reins of Attorney General and started spewing, you know, reefer madness back even when Obama was still president. And he was criticizing the Cole memo back in 2014 when Obama was president. And he's criticized it twice since then before Trump became president. And he's been criticizing it the whole way through since he's been attorney general. And finally, here he is. Uh, He's going to take it out, taking out the Cole memo. Um. So basically, Jeff Sessions is trending on Twitter, which is kind of, (laughs) I mean, this is trending for me, of course, if you don't give two shits about the drug war or Jeff Sessions or marijuana, you might not have really noticed this or it might not be trending for you. I'm not sure how Twitter works, but I know Stop Sessions is is back up and running again. So swing on over there if you want to see get a sample of the outrage i'm going to try to make this short and sweet today because i know that there's there's going to be a lot more to talk about with this story the fallout is about to come and i mean here's mountains of fallout right here you know uh you just have to go down the list keith ellison the war on drugs didn't stop drug use it's just ruined a lot of lives jeff sessions is reviving it because he believes in using the criminal justice system as an instrument of racial and economic control of poor people and brown people and as you continue to watch this report here you'll realize that the drug war and specifically the war against marijuana is a war against black people period i mean yeah sure a lot of white people get caught up in the in the net and get snarled into this shit too, but come on, man, the numbers, you cannot look at the numbers and come to any other conclusion. White people and black people use cannabis about the same amount, just like everybody else in the whole world. Every, no matter how you break down demographics, people use cannabis about 10% or around 20% of all people use cannabis, no matter what. All right. That's just a fact of life. So the fact that black people are arrested in in the area of 10 times more than any other race lets you know that there's some kind of focus going on. Because by and large, white people, even if the same percentage of white people smoke cannabis as black people, by definition, there's 10 times more white people smoking weed at any given time than black people. But somehow they're not getting arrested for it. Remember, uh, there's a story out of Georgia, um where on New Year's Eve party, like 80 people got arrested for less than an ounce of weed because no one would claim it. So they arrested everybody. (laughs) Of course they were black because they wouldn't even have been there to fucking kick the door in if it was just a bunch of white people. The cops were called because someone thought somebody was shooting off guns on New Year's Eve. Really? (laughs) If that was in a white neighborhood, nobody would have gave a fuck. And the cops definitely wouldn't have came and they definitely wouldn't have arrested anybody for marijuana. This is getting to fucking be so obvious that this is a racial war against black people. And, you know, the prison industrial complex really needs to keep asses in cells and, you know, the lowest common denominator. And obviously, Jeff Sessions, if you didn't think this fucking guy was a racist ever... You are basically just an idiot because everything this guy's ever said and done is a racial move against black people. This guy is a fucking prohibitionist from the 80s, all right? They basically lost that shitty drug war that the Reagans had, and this is him still trying to fucking lob grenades as he's losing and retreating. But now that he now that he's the attorney general, he thinks he's wielding some kind of power. Man, I got so much shit to say, I don't even want to read the fucking copy. But nonetheless, here's the copy. Uh, <clears throat> Sessions ending federal policy that let legal pot flourish. Fuck you with the fucking pot and fuck you with just AP in general, man. Anybody reporting this shit today, it seems like nobody's really like telling you anything that you didn't already know. All right. 
So Attorney General Sessions has rescinded Obama-era policy that paved the way for legalized marijuana to flourish in states across country, creating new confusion about enforcement and use just three days after new legalization law went into effect in California. President Donald Trump's top law enforcement official announced that the change Thursday. Instead of the previous lenient federal enforcement policy, Sessions' new stance will instead let federal prosecutors where marijuana is legal, decide how aggressively to enforce long-standing federal law prohibiting it. So, you know, as you read this, it starts to get, you start getting this feeling that, you know, the, the government no longer works for the people. The government don't give a shit about the people. I, I mean, you should already know this. The government only cares about the donor class, the people that are giving the government big fat fucking suitcases full of money. And that happens to be all the all the people that are the biggest lobbyists in Washington happen to be the people that don't like marijuana. They don't like it cutting into their market share on whatever fucking industry they're involved with, be it alcohol or tobacco or who knows what else. I mean, for some odd reason, um, car insurance companies like AAA and others are super anti-marijuana and they're 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 behind the propaganda. You know, and then you got, you know, people all, all across the spectrum. Whenever you see somebody that opposes marijuana legalization, it's because there's something that they're missing out on. Well, whatever. Um, it, it's just like Jeff Sessions shouldn't even be allowed to, to be let loose on this sector because he's he has no authority. Everything he's saying as a justification to do this has been proven wrong over and over again. Sessions' plan drew immediate strong op, uh, objection from Republican Senator Cory Gardner of Colorado, one of the eight states that have legalized marijuana for recreational use. Gardner said in a tweet that the Justice Department has trampled on the will of the voters in Colorado and other states. He said the action would contradict what Sessions had told him before the Attorney General was confirmed and that he was prepared to take all steps necessary to fight the step including holding up confirmation of Justice Department nominees, which would be a good idea because I just seen an article about how they picked a bunch of lackeys that don't have any experience, that don't know shit about running shit, to be judges and prosecutors in this new Trump Justice Department. You know why they do shit like that? So they could run those fuckers like dogs and basically have them do whatever bidding they want without any repercussion because these people don't have reputations to uphold. They have rep- they, they want to try to make a reputation. And if they do the bidding of the, you know, the big bad Justice Department and Jeff Sessions and go do, you know, whatever they want, for example, uh, bust down some doors on some legitimate medical marijuana dispensaries and grow operations in Colorado and other places where they're where they've been allowed under state law to get pretty big. You know, the federal government comes in. If, the, if it's over 100 plants, they're already interested. If it's over 1,000 plants, they want to come kicking doors in. They kick the door in, and they got all these excuses as to why they can do it. And then they got these new prosecutors and these new uh, judges that they just installed that don't have anything to lose. So, yeah, they'll do whatever you tell them to do. Sessions rescinded the policy by President Barack Obama's Justice Department that has generally barred federal law enforcement officials from interfering with marijuana sales in states where the drug is legal. Quote, in deciding which marijuana activities to prosecute under these laws with the department's finite resources, prosecutors should follow the well-established principles that govern all federal prosecutions. Uh, by considering the seriousness of the crime and its impact on the community, Sessions wrote in a one-page memo to the nation's federal prosecutors. The move by Trump's attorney general likely is sure to add confusion about whether it's okay to grow, buy, or use marijuana in states where the drug is legal. You know what? It's not really, but it's going to really create some confusion for people that potentially wanted to get involved. All right, now let me give you an example. I live in Michigan, and they just passed this new uh, highly um, regulated medical marijuana marketplace. But in order to get involved in it, you got to have a little bit of money. I mean, you got to have a lot of money. You got to have a half a million dollars, let's just say, minimum to get involved with dispensing or uh, growing. I think transporting is a pretty reasonable 
to get into because you can i think it's two hundred thousand assets you got to show i mean you could already have the armored truck sitting around and say hey there's my two hundred thousand in assets and boom get a, get a um just uh transporter license so anyway what i'm saying is is you know maybe somebody that was trying to get in that industry in michigan was thinking, okay, I can do this. I just got to get some seed money. And they get, you know, right now, before Sessions made this move, they might have been able to do it from some rich friends or just some, there is investors in Michigan that would like to get involved in this stuff, but there's things holding them back. They can't just get involved without having anybody that was already involved in the um, medical marijuana, uh, previous medical marijuana regimen that we had before. So, I mean... To marry those two people was one thing, but now that you have this looming over top of them, it's making the investors a little bit more tight with their money, I would say, to say the least. It's going to really make it difficult for this to um, unfold. Not not only that, but then you go to, to Maine where they, they already have legalized marijuana, but the, the regulations package that was put together by the legislator to regulate the sales and distribution and manufacture of commercial uh, recreational marijuana in Maine got vetoed by the governor who, you know, rightfully so said, Hey, we don't know what sessions is going to do. And the fact that he vetoed that, let me know that he did know what sessions was going to do. And I've known Sessions was going to do this shit all along. You know, he, it took him a whole year to put together the, you know, the, the back and forth with states that legalized it. So it made it look like he was talking to somebody. And when he went to those places, yeah, he was talking to people. All right. He was giving lip service to people like Paulus and Rohrenbacher and shit like that, you know, the people that are on our side. But then when he went to uh, talk to the people behind closed doors, it was all the prohibitionists and the cops. That's who he wanted to appease there. And he basically put together a plan where he could say, okay, in these states, they didn't really live up to their side of the promise, which was uh, one of the biggest ones is, is he's talking about how marijuana is leaving the states where it's legal and going to other states where it's not legal and instead of addressing that by getting it out of the controlled substances act and not enforcing federal law on that front and by the way if if you catch somebody going from california to another state with california weed in their backpack and <clears throat> you catch them you're the federal government you're the dea you can bust some people all you want what are you saying there's going to be truck fulls of that shit you can bust that truck you already do. You don't have to... The, the coal memo doesn't stop you from fucking making that arrest. All right? You act like your hands are completely tied on that. No, you're not. It's not. If someone's breaking the law and they're crossing borders, that's already, a, that's already in your jurisdiction. You know, you already have the authority to make a federal case out of it. But, you know, you're acting like that's one of the reasons is that that weed that's getting out of those states and into other states or the teen use or the drug driving. All these things that we've been talking about as far as reefer madness. Well, at the same time, that's their that's their evidence that the um, legalization experiment has failed, even though we know that it's all bullshit. It's all smoke and mirrors. They don't have real numbers and this isn't some kind of real public health problem issue. So, but they're going to continue to say they, that it is, they're not going to let down their side of the, of the argument guys. And this is, we're going to be seeing some major pushback coming within the next 24 hours. Believe me, it comes just after shops open in California, launching what is expected to become the world's largest market for legal recreational marijuana. And as polls show, a solid majority of Americans believe the drug should be legal. And again, it was it was in the 90s. It was like 92 or 94 percent of of a Gallup poll when asked if uh, how do they feel about Jeff Sessions, um, you know, enforcing federal marijuana laws in states where they have legalized it for either recreational or medical purposes, either or. And, that you know, basically people said no. 92-ish percent of people asked said, no, Jeff Sessions should definitely not do that. So this is the most unpopular decision I think I've ever seen in America that's just been thrusted upon us. Now, you might argue that the net neutrality thing is that. I don't know, man. I think even more right-wingers are 
like ignorant to what net neutrality even means. They don't understand how big giant corporations that run internet service providing, <laughs> they don't understand that that's who we want to regulate. Not everybody. It's like, Hey, the, the net neutrality stuff doesn't prevent somebody from starting up a, um, a little network somewhere. It has nothing to do with that. That's what right wingers kept saying. Oh, you, net neutrality was making it so only the big guys could succeed. No, it did not. It didn't do anything like that. It treated the internet like a Title II, like like the roads or the um the sewage system. Treated it like that. So everybody get got charged like somewhat the same for using this and that. And it didn't have anything to do with oh, if you paid more, you can get faster shit for that that's not how it works when you understand how something really works and you understand how the the internet was actually built <laughs> i mean for a long time the internet was just phone wires that were already there and that's why back then it was a no-brainer that it was unregulated like that and that isps couldn't just be like oh hey we own that shit so we're gonna you know do whatever we want with it Anyway, I'm getting way off into the weeds here. And what I mean is, is that, all right, you know, let's go back to the article. I'm getting way sidetracked. So Sessions has been carrying out a Justice Department agenda that follows Trump's top priorities on such issues as immigration and opioids. The changes to marijuana policy reflect his own concerns. Trump's personal views on marijuana remain largely unknown. But I'll tell you what, man, this is a guy that will tweet about a fucking fart gone wrong. All right, so why the fuck don't we hear anything from him? This is a major issue. Just about everybody in the government and on uh, the media circuit has been tweeting about this today. Everybody that I can think of and people that I've never even heard from about marijuana. Everybody's tweeting about it. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's Facebook sharing shit about it. You're going to start seeing the TV talking about it more and more. So what the fuck is Trump? Why, why is he so silent on this always? Sessions, who has assailed marijuana as comparable to heroin and has blamed it for spikes in violence, has been expected to ramp up enforcement. Marijuana advocates argue that legalizing the drug eliminates the need for a black market and will likely reduce violence since criminals would no longer control the, market, uh, the marijuana trade. The Obama administration in 2013 announced it would not stand in the way of states to legalize marijuana so long as officials acted to keep it from migrating to places where it remained outlawed and keep it out of the hands of uh, criminal gangs and children. Sessions is, re and by the way, this is also on the heels when Colorado released new data, as well as a national um, survey of data came from the government itself saying that marijuana use, teen use is down. So, and we didn't hear anything from Kevin Sabat on that one. He don't chime in unless it, it, something pisses him off. Uh, Sessions is rescinding that memo written by then Deputy Attorney General James, P, uh, James M. Cole, who had cleared up some of the uncertainty about how the federal government would respond as states began to allowing sales for recreational and medical purposes. The marijuana business has since become a sophisticated multi-million dollar industry, multi-billion now, that helps fund some government programs. And that's what the federal government don't like, just like state governments don't like it when individuals can pay some bills and shit. They just don't like people to be self-supportive. They want everybody to be part of the nanny state. All right. That's how the fucking government is, guys. If you don't think that's what it is and the right wingers and the Republicans are just as bad, if not the worst. I mean, if the if you don't think the nanny state over a marijuana consumption is a fucking nanny state overreach, ridiculous Gestapo motherfucker and it's run by the Republicans, then you are a fucking idiot. Look at this shit. Nixon started what we're what we're still dealing with right here. I mean, you can technically say that oh, he was just abiding by some United Nations treaties. Well, you're if you're a Republican, especially a libertarian, then you should definitely be appalled by that. And that's one of the only United Nations treaties that we s fucking follow to the damn letter. Like we worship it or something. Like it's like it's fucking the holy fucking commandments. But the Sessions Justice Department believed the Cole memo created a safe harbor for marijuana sales that are federally illegal, Justice Department officials said. Well, you know how you could fix that problem is just take it out of the Controlled Substances Act and let people pay taxes. 
Sessions said uh, at one point that the, the Obama memo is unnecessary. Sessions policy will let the U.S. attorneys across the country decide what kinds of federal resources to devote to marijuana enforcement based on what they see as priorities in their districts. Officials couldn't say what the ultimate impact will be on the legal industry or whether it will lead to more pop prosecutions. Now, you see, when you look at this and you see that in some of these districts, as opposed to other districts, you have more aggressive prosecutors and more right wing that hate marijuana judges. And, you know, there if you haven't been paying attention to what the federal judges do and the these like the ninth district and the tenth district, these guys are real activists, okay? They've been that way for like the last thirty years. And if you haven't noticed that, then you don't you don't pay attention to the real shit that affects policy and causes like little skirmishes between the right and the left. And the right has always been the ones that want to fucking put you in prison for marijuana. Their little prison industrial complex buddies back there are just laughing and counting their money right now. All right. It's going to have a big impact on the legal industry because the first time they kick in some major operation that's legit and that, that have been following the laws of the land in their district, but yet the feds come in and overstep it and say that they don't like what's going on. The first time that happens, this is going to be a major, major situation that nobody's going to, no one's going to be happy about it. No one's already happy about it. But when that happens, the industry is going to recoil and the people are going to get fucking irate. All right, nor is it clear how the memo might affect states where marijuana is legal for medical purposes. And I've been saying all along, man, this all this shit that Sessions is doing is going after medical marijuana. Totally. The FDA, the DEA, <laughs> marijuana is 99% of why they even exist. <laughs> You think the FDA gives a shit if some big pharmaceutical corporation wants to approve a new opioid? Fuck no. They don't even got to do too many trials. They do one trial, maybe, and they do a bunch of papers about it, and they get their approval. They grease the skids with hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's how they do it. And then the DEA schedule twos them, and they're out the door making millions of dollars a day off of addicting and killing people. But when it comes to marijuana, that's the only reason they exist. They want to stand there and tell you that they don't approve it and that it's not approved, so they want to kick your door in for it. Sessions and some law enforcement officials in states such as Colorado blame legalization for a number of problems, including drug traffickers who have taken advantage of lax marijuana laws to illegally grow and ship drugs across state lines where it can sell for much more. Now that complaint, like I said, is handled on the state level when, when discovered, when they discover someone in Colorado, and I've seen these busts happen on a regular, every three week or more basis, they bust them. They round them up. Sometimes the feds come in and help. Sometimes they don't. This has nothing to do with the legal framework of marijuana production and distribution and all that. This is just totally illegal shit going on that is always illegal and always will be no matter how legal marijuana becomes nobody's ever going to be allowed to just go set up a farm in colorado a that's not going to happen and grow a shitload of marijuana illegally b that won't happen either they'll get discovered before the crop even gets done and c as soon as it gets harvested they ship it to a different state Come on, guys, let's get real here. All three of those are highly illegal in Colorado, and you wouldn't even fucking make it to, to second base on either of those. So give me a break. The decision was a win for marijuana opponents, who has been urging Sessions to take action. And by the way, my last clip about Sessions was when he met with Kevin Sabat and a bunch of other people at the Heritage Foundation, a bunch of goons and doctors that want to keep marijuana illegal. And, uh, you know, propaganda pushing uh, people like Kevin Sabat. And they begged him to do this crackdown. And he, his agenda was all about how they're going to re-educate the public about the dangers of marijuana. <laughs> that, 
did you does this is this a fucking Orwell book or something? You're gonna re educate the public on the dangers of marijuana. There is no safe haven with regard to federal government and marijuana, but it's also the beginning of the story and not the end, said Kevin Sabat, president and CEO of Smart Approaches to Marijuana, who is among several anti marijuana advocates. You can't say advocate if you're anti marijuana. We're already there. You're not advocating for nothing, you're just being an asshole. This is a victory. It's going to dry up a lot of the institutional investment that has gone towards marijuana in the last five years. That's not the case. The institutional investment in marijuana comes from small donors. So that's not going to dry up. That's only going to increase, bro. That's only going to increase. There is no institutional. I talk about the, the corporate marijuana takeover all the time. The problem is, is it's not the, the people he's talking about. He's acting like it's a bunch of corrupt lobbyists that own tobacco and alcohol interests that are going to start big marijuana up. And, you know, it's just not like that, bro. <clears throat> the corporate marijuana thing has nothing to do with that. Um, threats of a federal crackdown have united liberals who object to the human cost of the war on pot with conservatives who see it as a state's rights issue. Some in law enforcement support a tougher approach, but bipartisan group of senators in March urged Sessions to uphold existing marijuana policy. Others in Congress have been seeking ways to protect and promote legal pot businesses. Yeah, but nobody in the Republicans who run fucking Congress will never, ever let any of those bills see the light of day. We have the Careers Act. We have the Cory Booker Ending Prohibition Federally Act. We have the Tulsi Gabbard, and uh, that's a bipartisan bill in Congress to do pretty much the same thing as Cory Booker's. All this shit has is, is already been getting pushed for, I don't know, five years in Senate and Congress, but it'll never see the light of day. It'll never get a fucking vote on the floor. It'll never get debate. It might go to a uh, conference. It might not, and if it does, it usually dies there in committee. I've been following this shit my whole life, guys. It's the fucking Republicans every fucking time that does some stupid shit like this. All right? If it wasn't for Republicans being such shitbaggers on this issue, we would have complete elimination of prohibition a long time ago. There would never be a fucking arrest for a plant of you know, marijuana. There should, not be, there should be no crime involved at all. If you want to talk about people doing highly illegal transactions where they're making millions of untaxed dollars, you can fucking do that. But the more legal you make marijuana, the less likely that kind of shit's even going to happen anyway. <laughs> Sessions wants to maintain a system that has led to tremendous injustice and that has wasted federal resources on a huge scale, said Maria McFarland Sanchez Marino, Executive Director of Drug Policy Alliance. If Sessions thinks he makes sense in terms of prosecutorial priorities, he is in a very bizarre ideological state or deeply prob uh, problematic one. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm done with this bullshit here. Uh, so I got a couple things to go along with this. First of all, in case he was wondering um, about that, yeah, this is a race, uh, a racially charged way to keep oppressing the black populations in this country. This is your Washington, D.C. weed rest, uh, rest by race. And as you can clearly see, you need a microscope to see the white arrests because they're usually pretty small on these uh, charts showing you arrests by race. Funny thing is, is if you just say, hey, how many white people are there compared to other races? They wouldn't be on the charts hardly at all. Only black, which is about 10%, and uh, Hispanic, which is approaching 20%. Everybody else is white <laughs> in this country. And when it comes to using marijuana, in my experience, white people use marijuana even more than black people. And I've lived in Detroit and Flint where there's high concentrations of black populations in the places where I lived. I could tell you exactly where I lived in those towns, but it doesn't matter because it, you don't get this 
right here. You don't get to say that this isn't a fucking war against black people. All right. There's no there's no way you can make that case. And if you look at the stop and frisk in New York City, these numbers there would blow your fucking mind because we're talking about tens of thousands of arrests each year with hardly any being white. <laughs> look at that. So I'm not going to really dwell on that too much other than to say that that's what we're, that's what this Jeff Session things feels like to me. It feels like a ramping up of a bunch of racist shit. Meanwhile, in California, here's what Harborside's looking like these days in Oakland uh, and Bay, the Bay Area. 250 people lined up to buy recreational marijuana. And this shit's not going to slow down. This ain't going to slow down. The neighborhood dealer just fucking lost. He just put his fucking application in at Burger King, dude. Like, seriously, I'm not, I'm, I don't know how I feel about that either, but at the same time, um, Jeff Sessions is fucking goofy if he thinks he's going to do anything to change this. And he's also goofy by ex continuing to to dwell in this negative propaganda bullshit that, you know, just always saying, Oh yeah, th this has caused a uptick in violent crimes or this is, you know, because marijuana legalization in Colorado, we have more people exporting weed from Colorado to sell in fucking Iowa. You know what? Who the fuck cares? Why don't you make weed legal in Iowa? Get rid of the law so we can transport weed between States and it would be a great marketplace. Let the market decide. The market's already deciding without uh, Jeff Sessions. This shit's already happening whether they like it or not and whether they arrest people for it or not. You know, California weed's going to always be in Florida and New Jersey and Mississippi. Wherever weed is illegal, you'll find California weed. Or you'll also find Mexican weed too. And unfortunately, you know, whenever Jeff Sessions... Uh, uh, tries to stop a legitimate American uh, from making money in the marijuana world, then a drug cartel is empowered and makes more money. And they still make billions of dollars a year off of marijuana sales in America. So fuck you, Jeff Sessions, if you think that anything you're doing is anything but crazy. <clears throat> well, we have a Republican who we love, Donna, Dana Rohrenbacher, Let's see what he has to say about this shit. He wants to reverse that. Joining us now is Congressman Dana Rohrbacher, Republican from California, the state which just legalized recreational marijuana. How do you feel about the attorney general saying, uh, 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 it's against the law at the federal level and we're going to impose that law on you guys? Well, I think it's sad that the attorney general uh, is veering so far off of what President Trump campaigned on during the campaign. Net he said that he baby. believed that uh, medical marijuana should be legal and that actual personal use for adults, as we have here in California now, should be left up to the states. And so <laughs> we have now an attorney general that does not seem to be reflecting what his boss was promising in the elections. Plus, he's thwarting the whole idea, I've known Jeff Sessions for a long time. I thought he was a constitutional conservative. We have over 40 of the states now that have legalized medical marijuana or some use of private use of marijuana. And uh, they think it's a waste of time and a waste of resources and giving money to the drug cartel to keep it illegal. But we have now the attorney general saying, no, no, the federal government has is going to make all the decisions for us on this issue. It's totally contrary to the 10th Amendment and everything supposedly conservatives believe in. OK. Yeah, well, you're not going to get Varney to agree. I wish I had more on that clip. But uh, yeah, so, you know, we knew that that's uh, what Dana Rohrenbacher it would have said. And there's a couple of other Republicans that are in favor of marijuana you know i'm not throwing just because you have a r on your name means you automatically hate marijuana or some shit like that and as far as uh, republican voters i definitely am not talking about you even though it seems like out in the public uh square 
yeah, the right wing Christian um, crowd seems to be pretty much uh, the ones that always turn their nose up on me or, you know, have something to say about marijuana in a negative light. So, you know, it'd be nice to see some others come through and basically say how they feel about this as far as right wingers or Republican uh, representatives in general. I know that if they're if if your representative that's a Republican in your area isn't for marijuana, you would know if they were for marijuana because anybody that's for marijuana is very vocal about it and really and they have things to say about it from time to time. You know, um, so here we go. Just just now we have some updates. Actually, this is a while ago today, but still a huge collection of members of com- Congress from both parties are pushing back hard against uh, Jeff Sessions anti marijuana move. That's over at Tom Angel at the marijuana uh, moment. And I mean, we're going to if you go to, to Jeff Sessions trending on Twitter right now, you will find pretty much, there's all these representatives. Here's Ted Lieu, uh, Cory Booker, we must stop Jeff Sessions' backwards action. There is now a great urgency to pass the Marijuana Justice Act to legalize marijuana on the federal level. Now's the time to call your senator. Now, I, I highly encourage my audience to please do that. If you're watching this video, you just stumbled on it or whatever, please go call your representative and tell them to get on board with this Cory Booker's plan in the Senate, the Marijuana Justice Act. And, yeah, I mean, we need to get... The legislation needs to get more uh, in people's sphere of knowledge. There is legislation out there that will help, you know, a lot. If we could get it on... You know, if you have enough sponsors, you're pretty much going to have to have a floor call. They're going to have to do at least a roll call on it, a voice vote. And if the voice vote's successful, then they're going to have to do a, um, an actual vote or even debate it. That's all I got on this, guys. Again, if you don't know if you're uh, subscribed or not, check. I should have had over a 1,000 subscribers by now. But we're going to see that that happens soon, and we're going to keep on making videos. So catch you next time. And, uh, yeah, there will be plenty of updates on this as the fallout continues. Stay tuned.